Hello guys, welcome back with me, Chow Chow 2025 in Persona 4 Golden. We're going to rest now and maybe see Midnight Channel because it's raining. It's raining all right. It's raining tonight. Will something appears on TV? Yukiko. Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess Yukiko's hunt for her Prince Charming. And I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. Hot start, huh? You got a great chaos. It was definitely Yugiko on the Midnight Channel just now. Hey, did you see that? That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Come down. Try to contact Yukiko. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, crap! I don't know her number. Oh yeah, I can just call Chie. Tomorrow's Sunday, so let's meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. You promised to meet up with Yosuke tomorrow. I decided to go to bed early tonight. What the hell? Oh, good morning. Morning. It seems that only Nanako is here. Where's your father? He left already. He said he's gonna be late. If you leave, Nanako will be left all alone to look after the house. On the other hand, you have important business with Yosuke today. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out. As for next week's forecast... Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Man, this kid. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? He decided to go out. Leaving the kid to do the chores. Sorry for the holder. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. Whoa. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weapon. So, which one strikes your fancy? The Kanata, the Nada, the Katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me... Wait, maybe both would be good too. Kind of like this? Or like this? What about this? Man, it's scary, man. What are you doing? <laughs> Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Lol. No. Huh? Oh, crap. I mean, no, 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 this, this isn't what it looks like. We didn't steal it. It's not about stealing. I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. Yeah, it is bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. 
Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too! I said now! Uh. But, but, this isn't... <laughs> Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! You were taken to the police station with Yosuke as suspect. Stupid Yosuke. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. Yeah, it's Yasuke, not me. Wait, I don't, my mix kind of mess up. Got men stationed everywhere. For God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Yeah, we're sorry too. Your weapon has been confiscated. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. And never say goodbye. Hey! Did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. Yes, sir. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. It will not. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Yeah, did, did something happen? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Come on, Dachi. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. Yes, it is. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard times? No, not really. Uh, hard times? Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? Hey, we don't know that. By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? Because if not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? <laughs> Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything, please. Adachi is so stupid. Hey, does that detective think that Yukiko-san... There you are! Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere! Oh, <laughs> uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up! So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear! I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh, 
What the hell is wrong with them? Mom, calm, Chie. Dude, don't snap at me. You can go to the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. They both seem agitated. Look, we need to save her. Let's all calm down. You're, you're right. So, what are we gonna do? With the police totally on the wrong track, we've gotta handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you gonna be all right? But man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Hey, hey, is that a good idea after all of this? Oh, it's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. Yukiko might die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! And that's that. All right. You really shouldn't do it. Okay, but stay behind us. Doesn't matter what you choose. Okay, but stay behind us. Psh, I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. You don't have persona. Crying out loud. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not going to listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. But man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I see 5,000 yen from Yosuke. Oh, he's rich. Son I got my manager. stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. Now you realize that. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Have you come see my art? Please, look around. Take your time. If you want something special, bring me your own material and I'll try to use them for you. I always like seeing new things and trying new techniques. So bring me some rare material that I've never seen before. If you do, I can make you some really cool stuff. When choosing what to create, the number and type of material varies. If you bring me the proper materials, I can use them to create some fine piece of art for you. But what I make up is up to me. I am the artist here, after all. I'll be expecting some praise too. Yeah, so that's about it. Chainmail? Probably test armor since you have persona, you can. I'm 
not equipping it, stupid me. Okay. here for Andorans. And Yusuke will be head ban. What head ban? Strange. Yusuke is magician, so he's gonna be this too. Okay, now we have fun. Okay, that's about it. Leave. There's a bizarre door before you. Seems the other can't see the door. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. The Falfel keys in your pack in your pocket is signing. We have been expecting you. Oh, the new girl. Who's that girl? The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy old man laugh. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. Or you can call it vision. This in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. In other words, you must level up. If your level is higher, you can get higher level persona. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. Yeah, that's important. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. You recall that you have the magician social link with Yosuke. It seems that when a persona of the magician arcana is fused, that persona will gain even more power. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Margaret lacked the funny voice of Alice Seven. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. Who's that girl? <laughs> Marie? <sighs> yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. The girl seems unfriendly. You feel that you've met her somewhere before. 
Why are you here? Dunno. It doesn't matter. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. As you can see, she may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice, and forgive her for her impoliteness. Yes. <sighs> Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Oh, skill card. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? Igor, you have a very creepy old man love. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Forever lost. I want to be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. So you need to solve every mystery before time to run out. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. Farewell. Well, we don't have any cards, so... You know, don't bother with these things. We're going to explore. You know what makes life easier when I'm talking walk or shopping the sub menu button. We just press on the sub menu button, you can come and go as you please. Ah, the wonderful sub menu button. The ever present press me anytime sub menu button. I'm, I know this is all kind of weird, but please don't think too strangely of me. Ah, you're the boy Nana Chan was with. Maybe it's okay if it's you. Okay, I'll think I'll break to you. I have a younger twin sister. We're lucky twins. Isn't that amazing? That's amazing, isn't it? We're the same in every way my sister totally worth boasting about. Yeah, the song is better, way better. Did you come to look at Yomi and I son books too? The bookstore only sells books specialty, so I'll be honor. It's a specialty bookstore. It carries a vastly different selection than the Judas has. It's fun to see what they carry next. The next expand date is April 20, so you should come look, come look too. So three days from now, you need that money. I should I have it. You need to buy that book. Before that, we're going to see. Hey, did you hear about it too? Murder. Murder, I see. Even worse. A serial murder. I thought I could relax out here in the country, but this... I'm more tense than ever. Huh, oh. uh, what do you want? You're not from around here, are you? I'm busy with Aaron from my sister. I found it was a part-time job, but doing all this for no reward, I can't believe it. The notice say that starting the 20th shirt, you can apply for a part-time job. With my age getting hired, it's possible. So, yeah, bulletin board. Remember, 23, you got a chance to get a part-time job just by reading that thing. Okay, I'll put this first man, this is gonna be great. Don't buy anything. Hey, did you know there's been rumor forever about those things appearing at a shrine? What am I talking about? You know, those things. i never seen one, so I don't believe it in the slightest. The place is a playground for kids during the day, so you might not know how different it feels here at night. I tell you, it's scary. You can't even take one step inside if you don't have the courage. You 
did you hear about the incident too? It's so scary, isn't it? It's horrible. Ever since I got married and moved out to the country, I tell you it'd be safer way out of here, you know? I have to start locking the door at night. I have to tell my neighbor next door to do the same. Did you hear, youngster? There was a murder. A murder. It absolutely deplorable. I live here for 80 years and I never would have thought something like this would happen in this town. This is an insult to be my beloved town and all the honest people who live here. Literally deplorable. Everybody knows about the murder, don't they? It's all I ever hear. Murder this, murder that. Did you see those pictures of Mayumi Yamana corpse? You know, the news announcer? It was on Tuesday the 12th. She was found hanging on the antenna on the house near the river in Inaba, this very town. The next victim was uh, from a nearby school. At memory surf, it was Yasogami High. No, I don't know the victim. I just know that what I saw on the news. I'm just an elementary school teacher. The kids I teach know more about society than I do. You're a sad man. This sucky house. A motorcycle is the evidence of a high school in Europe. A kid who has a bike is in the control of the best day of his life. With a motorcycle, you can zip through Inaba in your youth. That's why I'm going to become the motorcycle racing king of Inaba. Well, if I ever get one, right now it's more of a conceptual title. The shabby shit ass. You recall that you were supposed to meet up with Yusuke and she had a Jones food court. Go to Jones. Okay guys, I think that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And see you again on the next episode. Have a nice day.